Let us begin on a Friday morning with that breaking news tied to the mounting crisis in Syria. NBC's Ayman Mohedin has the latest on this. Ayman, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. It came as a surprise to many, but on a visit to Turkey this morning, Defense Secretary Leon Panetta announced that the U.S. will deploy Patriot missiles and the troops needed to operate them to their NATO ally as threats coming out of Syria escalate. Panetta added that the U.S. has drawn up plans to present President Obama with options in the event that President Assad's regime uses chemical and biological weapons against its own people. For the first time since the Syrian conflict began, U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has authorized the deployment of Patriot missiles to Turkey. We are deploying two Patriot batteries here to Turkey, along with the uh, troops that are necessary to man those batteries. The Pentagon will deploy 400 Americans to operate it, and what the administration says is a signal that the U.S. is committed to the defense of Turkey. Inside Syria, there are signs the battle for that country has entered a new phase. The regime of President Bashar al-Assad appears to be cracking, growing desperate. To bolster the opposition, the U.S. has now acknowledged the Syrian National Council as the sole representative of the Syrian people. Now, according to Human Rights Watch, using incendiary weapons on large civilian areas. On the ground, Syrian rebels are rapidly taking and keeping more territory than before and taking the fight to the regime's capital, Damascus. Syria's government news agency reported an explosion near a school on Thursday that killed 16 people, including women and children. A Syrian human rights organization, though, confirmed the attack, but added the explosion occurred near a military residence. Syrian rebels are regularly attacking the country's airport that they say is serving as a lifeline for supplies and cash for the regime. It's the beginning of the end, say some. The Assad regime is losing control. Uh, it is on the defensive. It has lost huge chunks of territories. Its forces are exhausted after two years of fierce battles. It's economically starved. A top NATO general today said that it is unlikely President Bashar al-Assad will stay in power, though Russia insists it will not change its support for President Assad, despite the fact that a senior Russian diplomat on Thursday acknowledged that the Syrian regime was in fact losing control of the country. Matt. All right, Eamon Mohadeen in Cairo for us this morning. Eamon, thank you very much.